We black at your ass again. Oh yeah, it's about to get cracking, cuz. We back again with the story of Pocahontas. Montaoka. Never have it been made so clear. Get up in the building and tell them we on for that evening class. Or that I guess it's right here to be the morning class still. Uh like I said, a lot of people don't like the word morning. Morning is the thing people do at funerals. Hey, you all right, Hakeem? There's some water. There's some water. You can bet you that you don't really want no trouble. Hey, get him in here. We got six people in here so far, man. Get him in here and tell them, uh, Young Girl is live, man, with that story of Pocahontas. Never have you heard it like this before. So you wonder why they came out with that story of Pocahontas. Why would they used to give us this Native American story of Pocahontas? Well, we're going to break that down for you. We're going to give you. They flag in every single thing we do, bro. They, don't, they ain't taking no chance then. Every single thing that we put out, that'll be human review. It don't matter if we take it, telling you how to tie your shoes. You don't get to tell them how to tie his shoes. We got to get in there and make sure you know, we got to get that human review. What the hell, man? These niggas tripping. Y'all that uptight. Y'all that scared about what we're going to say. Well, this one right here about to be good. Get him in here. This is about to be good. We overloading you. We have 16 tapes right now. This will make 17. And then plus we got a tape tonight, a class tonight with the brother Rod Hayes coming out called uh, Animal Indigenous. So uh, we're just gonna go talk about animals and what animals are indigenous to what part of the world. So that's gonna be lit. Okay, we ain't gonna worry about that till the end of the show. All right, let me switch to that laptop. We got Hakeem in the building. We and Hakeem finna teach this Pocahontas class. This is the story of Pocahontas. Hakeem. Switch to that laptop real quick. We're giving them time to get in. It's about to go another banger, another classic. Going down in the young elder folder, bro. In the in the greatest hits folder. Another classic, another banger. Let me get that uh chat pulled up for you. We're giving them time to get in, man. Yeah, you know, hey, Hakeem. Boy got him some rich crackers. Huh? Hey, Sunrise, what up? Sunrise in the building. We about to get ready to crack, crack heads and twist caps. Ball cap disclaimer. Make sure you got your cap <coughs> took off. Need some water? Uh huh, King. We need some water. We need some water. Yeah, hey, ball cap disclaimer, bro. Make sure you got that ball cap put out to the side. Like I said, we got that rod tape coming out tonight. Hey, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Hit that bell. If you don't receive a notification from us every day, come back and check with us, man. We got something coming out every day. Right? If you want to show us some love, we're dropping the Cash App and PayPal in the links. We also still got the eight books by the young elder for $45 donation to the cash app of uh, PayPal we'll, and leave your emails in the link and we'll send you those eight books ASAP. Yeah, we about to get there behind, bro. Dirty Moors, the air car uh, chief. Ah, ah, it wastes water all over me. Oh, man. We're going to do the show like this, huh, King? We got to do the show with, man. Yeah, Rod Hayes tonight, man, at uh eight eight thirty Central Time, 
um, 9.30 Eastern time. So you'll be in there tonight for the Rod Hayes class tonight. But right now we're doing the story of Pocahontas. We're breaking the real story down. Keep in mind, Pocahontas was from a tribe called Powhatan. Powhatans. I think I'm saying, pronouncing that right. Powhatan. Right? And she, uh, that tribe is why all the pretty, the pretty uh, women were, uh, a lot of pretty women was in that tribe. Yeah, he wasted water all over me, man. He got me. Uh, uh, you should, got me, man. So the, the pretty women, a lot of pretty women was from that tribe. Also, her dad, her Pocahontas' dad, keep in mind about the Iroquois Confederation. Right? You want this right here, tablet? You got to take it now. You can't play this right in here. It ain't going to work. It ain't going to work, bro. It ain't gonna work, oh, oh, Kim. You gonna be able to play it in the background, bro. Yeah. So a lot. Uh, keep in mind, her dad, the Air Corps for Confederation, was a a conglomerate. Oh no, bro. Again, gonna be able to play that in the background. Oh. Man, it's hard. Man, I should have waited. I should have waited. I should have waited. Come on. Come on. You ain't gonna be able to play that in the background, bro. Yeah, so keep in mind the Air Corps Confederation was a combination of five, like a whole bunch of tribes put together to make one, one like a one tribe type thing. And Pocahontas' dad was the Parliament chief. Like I say, it was like he was the head chief, and then it was like seven or eight tribes under him and all of them had their own chief, but they chief came to like a, a council and he was the head chief, uh, Pocahontas dad. And to give you an idea what he looked like, he looked just like LeBron James. And keep in mind, uh, the ancient Egyptians, or we ancient Egyptians was on both sides of the field. And keep in mind, he got the feathers and he got the white skit on. This is uh in the uh American this is the uh Native American um museum. He got the white skit on, so all of the different the same cultures on both sides of the field, the same culture, right? He kind of looked like LeBron James. Let's get that. Let's get a side by side of it. Let's get a side by side of it, bro. Of him and LeBron. LeBron. This is what he looked like right here. Hold up. LeBron James is from that same tribe as Pocahontas was from. I'm gonna show you uh I'm gonna show you some uh some of the people. All right, look at this dude right here. Let me show you this dude right here. LeBron James from this same tribe. I'm going to show you. Uh, where is it, that picture? Oh, I'm gonna tell you, let me go right here real quick and find it. We're about to get into the story, man, of Pocahontas. We just want to get to get you uh started on who these uh, this particular tribe was in the area where Planet Rock is it, right? And all them pretty women, I'm about to show you, man. I'm gonna show you the, the the faces you can know. All right, look at this tribe. This right here. Uh, let me say this. And do they? Like LeBron James. Hold on, let's blow him up. We're gonna blow him up. Keep in mind, Queen Khalifa, the sister, one of the sisters of this dude, of uh the chief. I can't say his name. His chief is Wahan Sinka. Wahan Sinka. This is Pocahontas' dad. He was a, a black dude, like LeBron James, same height, everything, same statue, same look. Uh, okay, this is LeBron James right here. 
and let's blow up uh that picture. All right, this dude right here, look, you can look, look at the uh, characteristics of this dude, and look, you can look at that LeBron James. Right here, he this right here, Pocahontas tribe. Now, these people were this what a head tribe. They chief was the head head of the, the Iroquois for Confederation, and he was the head Parliament chief. Hey, hey, you see his name, Mr. International? That's a long ass name. It's uh, let's pull him up real quick. Now I can say it in syllables. All right, this is the dude right here. Wa Han Sin. I know, like this right here is really a, a damn. Uh, when you break it down, it's really a, a damn Egyptian name. It's an Egyptian name because Sin means son in ancient Egyptian code. So it'd be like Wa Han Sin, the son of. Uh, and this right here would means Wa Han Sin Awa. Yeah, so like, yeah, but this is our dad, though. You know what I'm saying? You see the name right there, nigga. I ain't no English teacher. Uh, it ain't English, though, but it like it look like it's, uh, it can, if you break it down, it look like it's a damn ancient Egyptian name, which makes sense of why he would have a white skit on. But this nigga was like LeBron James. Look how, hold on, let's put LeBron James next to this nigga, man. And LeBron James got the same features as that, as that tribe. Take it up in there. Take it up in there. Take it up in there. Yeah, I probably should have waited to do this because Hakeem, he going to be a problem, I'm saying, like, with his tablet. I'm trying to get that side by side with LeBron James. But you see how his statue is, right? And how how he built? That's how LeBron James built basketball players. So we we told y'all we were playing all these sports when they when they came over here. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Hakeem, take it in there. Hey, take get that tablet, Haru. Get that tablet. Come on, Hakeem. Come on, Hakeem. Here we go, bro. Let's see, let's see All right, be cool. Let's do this show. All right, so what happens is is they they paint this story of Pocahontas being black. I mean, being white girl, but she wasn't white. We already know that, right? We already know uh, all the moors. That my moors don't like the word white, so we're bad with us. So we're talking to people that don't know all the more signs. Now, I'm going to show you some of the females that's from this tribe and how they, they facial features and how they look. They all they all got this pretty look about them. I'm going to show you the original picture. Is, uh, all right, right here. This is what Pocahontas will look like. She look like this chick. See this girl right here in the corner with the, with the nose, with the uh, lip ring? This is how they look. Right? And they got you under the impression that it, you know, it was John Smith and John Roth they were black conquistadors who came over here and competed for the love of Pocahontas because they were trying to tie their bloodline into this tribe. They were trying to, it was a plot. It's part of the, the whole plot to steal our land. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Uh, but I don't know if he'll rock the headphones on, and I don't trust him. He might tear him up. He might tear him up. Uh, he, uh, he should, uh, the ones I got, the big ones that I got from my studio. So, so I can't trust them with them. But I get them lined out in just a minute. It ain't going to take long. Uh, yeah, so I said they look like this girl. But I'm going to show you pictures of what they look like. more more Because I'm because actually, I'm going to break this tribe down when I walk you across the land on this side. But, but, but since I already got the folder on the Pocahontas, I'm just going to show you some of the facial features of these people that in, in that tribe. All right, so this is what they this is what they look like. These are the girls that they look like. Okay, okay. This this is a perfect uh, example of what they look what what Pocahontas would look like. This girl right here. All right, you see how she look. 
That's how Pocahontas look. She from that same tribe. They got these features. Uh, now I'm gonna break down how these features come about because they really like uh Watusi. I mean not Watusi, they really um uh, Washita and another mix. They came over here from the Ashanti tribe. The Ashanti tribe was coming over here too. The Ashanti and the Mandingos. Right, we're gonna break that down. The Yamasis. And some of these tribes broke off and came different families. But this is what they would look like, this girl right here. They got this pretty look, look, look about them right here. All right, I'm going to show you some more. Uh, let me show you some more. Uh, like this girl right here. This girl is a perfect example of what they look like, what the girls look like from that tribe. You probably see girls that look like this girl. All of them, some, uh, the, the, uh, the, pie hunt, the pie huntings. Uh, Pocahontas tribe, all of them, they some uh, what you call like uh, nice piece of artwork, nice artwork, <laughs> nice artwork. We already got we got to say certain things, but this is uh this girl right here is some that's the same tribe. That's why I like the nose ring and the lip ring is like what part of their tribe. All right, here's another girl that's from that same tribe. Now, these girls that went out and did their hair, uh, you know, put the hair on the head, but the face is what, what you uh, what we're talking about, the facial, how they look. Okay. Like her. It's how they look. They all got that little, uh, what people would probably classify as being cute, cute looking. They got that cute look about them, the people from that tribe. Uh, hold up. All uh, right. Yeah, like this, this would be a one girl right here. That's how they look. All right, so keep in mind when these players, these Moors, these Macs, these Conquistadors, these Mac or Roni Tonys, Right, I'm gonna show you what, what they look like. I got a picture of what they look like when they came over. So they, uh, we found a picture in the archives. We we we, we pulled the picture out. These black uh these black pir uh pilgrims to This is one of them right here. This dude sitting right here. He a Moor. This dude right here. He was one of them dudes that came over, and was like uh, John Roth and John Smith. See the hat that he got on, came from England. These people. That look like us and us, but you can look like him. He looked just like that dude, uh, James Bowen with the damn Willows Peak. So these dudes were the dudes that was coming over here, not no white dudes like they show you in the movies. Not no white dudes like they show you in the movies. Not no U Europeans when they, they and they weren't even the real Europeans. They really uh, Georgians, Caucasoids. They weren't even coming over here. They came over here in seventeen fifteen as prisoners as convicts from England brought over here by the Moors to work in they uh, work on their new they land that they had conquered from us brought over here by King George the third and his and his people who were Moors that looked like this came from a certain bloodline and I'm from that bloodline too the Williams that's why King George's name is King George Frederick Williams see what I'm saying coming from the uh, far people but this is what this is a picture of what these niggas look like when they came over. They wasn't Caucasians. We weren't mixing our seed with Caucasians like that. She fell in love with a dark skinned European dude who had who had a little cologne on. Had he talk real slick because them he was a Mac more, you know, Mac McDonald, MacDoodle. He was a Mac. Uh Roth, right? John Roth. This, this is not John. I'm not saying this John Rob. I'm saying this what they. This is a picture of what these people that uh, these black conquistadors and these Mac these niggas that was coming over here. They what they were looking like. We weren't mingling with Caucasians like that, bro. In the 1600s. So when you're taking Pocahontas, fell in love with a white dude. That's the that's an automatic game right there. She fell in love with a nigga that looked like us, but ain't us, right? Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're in the building, man. We better get this shit cracking. Better get this shit cracking.
Hey, everybody hit that like button. We got 93 people. All right, so that's what they look like. All right, keep in mind, this is the dude that helped, a picture of the dude that helped Columbus sell over here. These were the conquistador, and Columbus was a mulatto. We get into that because 12 elders sending me documents on uh, that right now, on uh, uh, Christopher Columbus and what was going down with that. So we gotta we gotta re, we gotta redo all these stories because they they told all of that damn lies about the color of the people. These people were dark skin, black niggas from Europe, from Graceland, England, who came over. So they figured out the game. It was all a plot. The, the small plots, all it, all this shit is strategic. These niggas thought this shit. This shit is well thought out to me. When I, I'm painting it all together, putting it all together, it's well thought out. These people come over here, find out Pocahontas is the princess to the Erie Corn for Federation, uh, Confederation, which is a, a whole conglomerate of tribes. There's another uh, girl from that same tribe. It's how they look right here. Like Nicki Minaj. She from Trinidad, though. But 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 I'm gonna get to that. I'm gonna get to that mix too when I walk us down to the land, because that's us all we all the same people. But she this is how they look. This is how that these girls were looking when these when these black dark skinned pimp pimp moles, the pimp moles from England, Graceland, England, these Max and these Roths and these Smiths, right? Because cut y'all niggas over here right now, you Smiths. It's a couple of you, it's two sides, three sides to the Smiths. One of them is with your mat, uh, your Massey coming from being York now. And then the other one is the ones that came over here from England, Graceland, England, the, uh, who were dark skinned niggas and light skinned mulatto niggas. Really, John Roth was a, uh, he was like a mulatto kind of, like a light, he wasn't all the way mulatto. He was like a, like three quarters of mulatto. So he was light, he was light. Light skinned, pretty nigga who had smelled good and dressed. He had the same little boots on that I showed you on the last show that I was showing you about the boots and the, the footwork. Right? So he comes over here and put his game down. John Smith put his game down first. But they tell you that. They teach you in the story. Why would they teach you this Pocahontas story? Why would they give you this story over and over again? And it's about around this time when it happened. But around this time, that's why we're putting these stories, we're putting these different things out systematically because this month is Native American uh, Heritage Month on December, I mean, November 25th. And Thanksgiving, we already broke that down to order Thanksgiving. Go get that tape. Right? We see a lot of niggas out here try to copy. It's all good. We ain't tripping. Handle your business. They probably going to copy this one next. Yeah, so this right here... Uh, Cause that's not Nick. Uh, uh, I don't get what you're saying, uh, Armin. Armin Cookie, I don't get what you're saying. I'm just saying this. Is what I'm just saying this is what their facial features. When I show you walking across the land, I show you that particular tribe. This is what the women look like in that tribe. This is how they look. It looks. Uh, they got this certain type of facial. How the jaw, how jawline is, her lips, everything. That's, that's that uh, Pocahontas tribe. And we used, they used to wear a nose ring or a lip ring in their tribe. All right, this was the male, this was a, uh, a male dude from that tribe. You tell he mixed though, but look at the hair texture. LeBron James got the features of this tribe. And he kind of rese resemble, to me, he like a damn, uh, they might have found a tomb of uh, Pocahontas' dad and reincarnated him. That might be LeBron. Because he got the same fucking statue and everything. Like, the, the way he built, the way he looked, he looked just like the uh, chief, chief uh, look. Message too easy. You probably right. <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah, Monta Oka. It's a real name. All right, so that's just a dude from that truck. Okay, we'll show you about one more of these. Uh, It's another lady that looked like the people. Now, the mirror tribe for this tribe is called the Ashanti tribe in, in Africa. They got the same. If you look at the Ashantis, they are pretty just like this, the Ashantis uh, tribe. 
I don't think we showed that try on the on the uh, genetical breakdown. We we'll probably go through go over that as we were explaining this tribe, the mirror tribe, because every tribe over here got a mirror tribe in Africa, and when there's a the mirror tribe for Pocahontas tribe is the Ashanti. And so that's what they look like. You see them women like that with that fight with their those rosy cheeks. Uh, like you know, what I'm saying the lip, certain soft man. These were here the baddest. These were here the finest women up in, in out of all the tribes. The finest women that was in the Pocahontas tribe. That's why niggas say, "Oh yeah, she look like Pocahontas." They, when they see a pretty chick or a cute chick, a nice looking girl. They say, "Oh yeah, she look like Pocahontas." Right? That's that Pocahontas. Said Tremil. Okay, all right, yeah, we are. We're about to get we're about to get into it. Oh, what you got, man? We're about to bring it on in. All right, so I just want to build you up to what they look like. This is what the, the women was looking like. So that that's and then and not only uh this is one reason they that they was after these women in that tribe, and then another reason why these black dog skin uh condiscador moors or these niggas that was coming over that was knights of Templar, dog skin moors, right. Another reason they was coming over is because they was in this land right here. That's where that, you know, this area. And they, the, the uh, Iroquois Confederation was in control of this land, this whole land, all the way down to Florida, all the way back up, right? So they had to get in, get in contact with the, with the chief. And the king, the, the king wanted the chief to come back and, and speak with him. And the whole plan was to kill him. But then the chief didn't want to go. So they came out with another plan. We could get the daughter, get some, get put one of our pimps on her, our players, our Max, put one of our Mac Moore's dog skin players on her. You know what I'm saying? One of put put Goldie on her. Put Goldie. You gotta get Goldie on there on her. Get Goldie and the Mac on there on her and let him Mac her and then get her, get her back over here and put a baby in her. It's called tying themselves into the vine. This is one of the tactics that they use. Bible talk about it in the Let's Set the Record Scrape book. Tying they set to the vine. And the story, they give you the same, look, they play this storyline over and over again. They give you the same storyline in Avatar. Where the white boy come, he come looking like them. Let's pull it up. So he didn't come looking like no damn white boy. The white boy couldn't mix with them looking like no white boy. He had to get an avatar for the for that planet and for them people. Let's, let's, let's do this. Let's show you that. Yeah, avatar. So this is the same storyline play out. This chick would be Pocahontas and this dude would be John Roth. All right, let's say that so we can blow it up. It's the same damn storyline, bro. Yeah, hit that like button. Hit that jig button, you had your parachute. Okay. Let's look at that. Let's look at that, bro. All right, if you go watch the movie, and pretty much I think all y'all probably seen it, uh, the movie Avatar. In the movie Avatar, this would be Pocahontas. The, she was the princess of all the tribes that was on their home tree, remember? And they wanted a particular element, a special type of element that they had that was under that tree. Just like when they, we had a whole bunch of gold over here. We had a whole bunch of other elements and gold and tobacco and other uh, natural resources over here that they wanted. So they wanted to take that. Same thing with this movie. So in order to take it, they, he couldn't come amongst them looking like white, like a white boy. They weren't going to mix with him. They telling you the storyline right there. He had to come amongst them looking like them, but he wasn't them, just like Rod told you. Remember that? Rod told you they said they had to come looking like us in order to trick us, man. They had they they wasn't us, but they wasn't us. So this dude looked like them, but he wasn't them. He was a damn uh, fucking white boy in a, in, in, in a black dude's skin, just like they are. They really white people and black people's skin, these damn dirty moors, conquistadors. Huh? Man, tell me you ain't catched it. 
So he 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 had to he had to look like them in order to come amongst them in order to trick them to steal their land. They gave you the fucking storyline right there in the Avatar, man. Go back and watch Avatar, watch Pocahontas, it's the same storyline. So what did they do? The tricky, dirty, dirty moors from Graceland, England, came over, got pimp, pimped out Pocahontas between John Roth and John Smith, John Roth Warner. Then they convinced her to take up, to leave with them. You think she left with some white boys on the boat? You think she left with white boys? Man, she left with niggas that look just like this dude right here, bro. She ain't leave with no white boys. She left with niggas that look like us. They couldn't trick us like that. They were going to let our number one princess leave with a boat full of white boys? Come on, man. Stop playing these games. This, this, these niggas look like these niggas, man. Like this nigga right here. And he, they were max and pimps and talk slick talk. They got, he had poetry because over there they was reading little books and Shakespeare, sweet ass shit. They was reading that shit. And then he came over here quoting Shakespeare and quoting poetry and, you know, buttering up. Yeah, baby. Ooh, so love with you. This and that, this and that. Because nobody really over here could get it, get in Pocahontas. She was a bad, she was one of them bad ones. So you had to have your game really stepped up, man, over here. Uh, Pocahontas was a little different, but these dudes, sweet, sweet talker, and got her, got out of, got her out of them draws. They got Pocahontas out of them draws. Got her back on the boat, coming with me. I protect you. Come with me, baby. It, he didn't. They didn't look. They didn't look white. They looked like us, just like in the movie Avatar. One niggas had to get a, a a nigga that looked like this nigga to come amongst us. You already know the game. Yeah, we playing football and basketball. I already pointed that out on uh, the origin of football. I'm, I'm, I might do the origin of basketball, too. Really, it's all our shit. Hey, you want to show some love, uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you want to send us a donation or anything like that, we got the cash apps in the link, man. We take $1, $5, $10, whatever you got. Right? So what happens? It's time that they, they was trying. The game was let's tie ourselves into the vine so we can steal their land. So the whole game was we put two players, we put two number two of our number one max and players on them, these moors, right from over in England. Two plat two max on them. And then the nigga that won was John Roth. He married her. Uh, he took her back to England and married her. Or uh, he married her over here and then took her back to England. Had they had a kid named Thomas Roth. Now, this is a picture they give of him, but we know he wasn't no damn uh white boy, he was black, he was a, a damn Moor mixed with uh the Native American. You type here Thomas Roth, and they got his tomb and everything over here. Now, this is the game. I'm gonna give you the game, bro. Oh, where's tomb at? Right here. John Roth and Thomas Roth. This is the game, bro. These ink, these dirty moors. That's how they get in. They gave you that Pocahontas story. Why? Because it's a it's a key pivot point in them taking over your shit. That's why they're telling you about Pocahontas. It's a key pivot point for them taking over you, bro, and getting the 13 colonies set up. Thomas Roth, son of Pocahontas, 16, 15, 16. He was born in 1615. This is when the game began, brothers and sisters. This is all A. Hey, and this shit is all coming down through the Spanish Inquisition. This is part of it. This is part of the plot. They 300, they think tank on how they going to get in and steal our shit. Right? So the dirty boy, John Roth, the dirty boy, John Roth, the dark skin nigga had put a baby in Pocahontas and then they took her to the Graceland, England. Grace, Grace sent England and threw her overboard, threw her overboard and, and tried her hands behind her back and made her walk the plank because they didn't want, they didn't want her to come back and tell of the plot. They was taking her through the Rango over in England. They didn't want her to come back and tell her father and them of the plot. So they were trying to get this child so they can get this child to come back and say, oh, he the prince, since he Pocahontas' son. And then anybody that's kin to the Roths can bring their family members in. And this 
uh, by way of this son and then began marrying into uh, the number one tribe. The Bens, the Benins, it's a whole bunch of uh, the Moors. I got, a, I got a list of the names of the, the Moors who came in through Thomas Roth and began mixing in with our tribe, tying themselves into the vine. And then once they start marrying and uh, marrying to our tribes and, and, and inheriting land, they, they, they some kind of way start taking out the, the original chiefs and princes of the land and, this, and, and putting their people in place of those original people and then begin auctioning and selling off our land to uh, other niggas around the world. Right there in that, in that, sport, in that part. But Thomas Roth is the kid that they used to tie themselves into the vine. They brought him back in, planted him right as the leader of the head, young uh, inheritant of the Iroquois Confederation. Of the five or six tribes, it was really more than that at one point, um, you know. But all the tribes that was together, he became the he's the uh, became the 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 wife the heir to those tribes. But he a dirty boy, he a son of a dirty boy. Conquistadors. So now they use this kid. Who the hell is telling me, bro? Yeah, baby. Hey, hold on, y'all. Hey, my bad, y'all. That's my wife. I had to, uh, hey, man. So let's think about it. Well, they use this kid, they use this kid to infiltrate us, to infiltrate our ranks, the Trojan horse. Get some, get up, tie us into the vine. So that way we can use anybody, kidding, anybody that's Thomas Roth cousin, uncles. Uh, nieces, nephews, anybody tied into Thomas Roth, we can bring them back over and implant them in the in the red dead center in the middle of your tribe, and then from there wipe out the princes of the land. Remember, Rod Hayes uh, showed you the receipts when they said they're gonna come and wipe out the princes of the land and the chiefs, get rid of them. So from there they start getting and wiping out these chiefs and shit, and then they start putting. Thomas Roth and anybody kin to Thomas Roth by way of his his uh, mother Pocahontas, they start using those people to put in place of the chiefs and, and princes, and then from that point began auctioning off the land. This is one way they was doing it. It's one this is one way they was get attacking us, right? So keep that in mind, man. We uh, telling you what the hell is going on here. These, uh, these beans came over, the Knights of Templar. The first people to come over was these dark-skinned people. These dudes, look at these moors. These are the people that coming. We were dark-skinned too. They look like us, but they ain't us. Remember more when Marad told us. So what was the whole game? Let's see what I want to show you in this thing. All right, let me blow this back up. So what, what was the whole game? To tie themselves into the vine with that child, Thomas Roth, from John Roth. Start from there, infiltrating us from within. Get rid of the chief. Kill him. They wanted them to, they wanted to bring them to England so they could kill him. Start wiping them out. Small Parkham. Now, this right here in the 16, let's, let's, let's pull that up real quick. Keep in mind, like I told you, the storyline. He looked it like them, but inside, he was a whole nother person. The, the, the dark-skinned moors looked like us, 
but they the devil. He was the devil. This dude, like Elijah Muhammad, the, the, the devil, Yaku's devil, right? The whole time he looked it like us, but he Yaku's devil. And he come to trick these people. But then he Jordan Roth turned on them and went for the people. So I'm trying to help the natives. And that that's that that happened too. John Roth uh started trying to turn because they John Roth didn't want to kill really uh John Roth didn't want Pocahontas to die. They forced uh him to kill him, uh, uh them to kill him to make sure he was on their side still. So uh he 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 was in love with Pocahontas with the truly uh John Roth. So let me tell that part too, right? So like like the same storyline as this dude, he was in love with her, but but he was a trade, he was a traitor. He's a he was one of them and looked like us, looked like us, came amongst us looking like us, but he wasn't us. These people were in the mix with that white boy. These people. Pocahontas, them, our people were in the mix with them. We mixed with people that look like us, our kind. Similar. <coughs> but they like I said, they weren't our kind. Just type this in. Just type Pocahontas in England. It show you this white girl, but that we know she ain't white. It says the Roth family traveled to England in 1616. Their expenses paid by the Virginia Company of London. Wow. I wonder why. Who is the Virginia Company of London? You know who that is? That's the damn laws of London. That's the damn niggas that the Rothschilds, the niggas, you know, the dirty moors back by the uh who, who uh Rothschilds is the dirty moors front man. So the dirty moors was operating out of the company of London. Check that out right there. They're telling you the whole damn nine. Pocahontas is known as Lady Rebecca Roth. They call her, they gave her the name Rebecca when she got over to England. Gave her like an English name. And check that out. Re Rebecca actually goes back far to England, but was also accompanied by about a dozen Pocahontas men and women once in. So they killed all them niggas off. So they took her to England and got the baby in on her and then got, got rid of all the people that came with them. And, and then when they came back, they lied and said, them guys, them 12 guys that came with her as her soldiers, as her, uh, the, as her uh, bodyguards, that they uh, wanted to stay in England. They lied. They had already made all of them walk the plank, including Pocahontas, and kept the son, Thomas Roth. She looks at she Place of death, Graceland, England. Place of death, a spouse, John Roth. But they teach you in the damn, uh, in the series, uh, in the movie, go back and watch Pocahontas. Go back and watch uh, Avatar again, man, and, and look at it. You'll see the story, man. You know what I'm saying? Since we still name Pocahontas. Our, our real name is Monta Oka. Monta Oka. She's a princess. So th that's the plot, man. In a nutshell, <coughs> that's the plot. Get that baby back over here, start killing off the princes and chiefs of the land, incorporate his bloodline into and whoever came to him. And bring them in. And they look like us, start married amongst us, having kids. And then they start getting to the land, going to the meetings, killing everybody off. And then when, when everybody, when the, all the chiefs was gone, they stood up and said, oh, yeah, we the chiefs. But they really dirty moors. And then they said, oh, yeah, we going to sell this land off. And you, and you go get a book called the, uh, it's called the North Carolina, um, I got the book over there. It tell you how they was doing it. It breaks it all down, how they was, uh, the last names, uh, how they were selling out uh, the last names were Moore's last names, and they was all selling out the land to other people, to like to like uh, Sephardistine Jews, different types of Jewish people. So that's the game, man. You, hey, we uh, that's pretty much uh, they didn't, uh, the poker hunt, but they, they they paint this white girl. They want to because everybody get made white, right? Hey, they're gonna make Wesley Snipes a white guy. Shit, if we don't get, 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 a, get a hold on this shit. You see what I'm saying? Wesley Snipes gonna be a white guy. You know how black he is. He blacker than blacker than black. Right? And a lot of my moors don't like the word black. Right? Bad with us. We know black is an adjective, not a noun. 
It's a label to put us under the Black Christian Codes, the Spanish Inquisition, you know, the whole nine, the whole nine yards. See what I'm saying? We got it down. We got we gained all the perspectives. So you talking with the young L, you ain't talking to just no regular people. We ain't just regular. We gained the 720 degrees perspective. So we got the Moorish perspective. We got the Islamic perspective. We got the dirty Moors perspective of what the hell they was doing. And I just, it just don't make any sense to me. Your, your perspective don't make sense, dirty Moors. If I'm gonna take our shit, when we, when, we, when we was offering to give you some shit, you know what I'm saying? But that's what happened when you be nice. All right, so we don't be careful. They'll make Wesley Snipes a white dude. You see what I'm saying? And we know how black he is. They'll make Kevin Hart's white. You know? So, John Roth, we know what you did, bro. You're slick talking, one of them slick talking, magic done one ass niggas. And you gotta put you gonna come over here and pull your Mac game, you Mac Moors, Mac Doodle, McDonald, Mac Roth looking niggas coming on over here, Mac and Macaroni and Tony, our princess, <laughs> running game, take her back to Graceland, England, store old boy. Uh, poison and kill the king off and the uh, uh, or the, or the chiefs, the head chiefs, work your way up into the, the, the uh, forefront so you can sell off our land. That's the plot. That's the pop Pocahontas was the was the main pivot point in our history for them niggas the jackets for, for us getting jacked, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. So John Roth, we on to your game. You dirty moors, we on to your our game. Still our shit, man. It's time to pay up. It's time to pay up, you conquistadors. Yeah. Yeah, John Roth was a dog skin nigga. From uh, one of the macaroni Tonys, the moors from Graceland, England. They didn't, like I told you, go back into the, uh, like I said, I just broke the analogy down. They gave you the same storyline and uh, for people just coming on, they gave you the same storyline in, um, in Avatar. The nigga had to look like them to come amongst them. This is Pocahontas right here in the storyline. This is John Roth. He had to look like them to come amongst them so they could steal their land so they could get that damn mineral from under that damn tree. And the whole time he was working for the niggas that's coming steal our shit, steal our minerals, steal our uh, our mineral rights. See, this is it's, it's ain't just about land. It's about the mineral rights to the land, nigga. That means the gold, the oil, all the other minerals that we got over here. It's about the they came to get those people mineral rights. That's why when they sell niggas land, and a lot of people don't even you can't even own land anyway as an artificial person. But I'm saying that when they sell you land, they you got. The mineral rights sometimes is not even included. That's the stuff, that's the mineral. Like they find all on your land or gold or diamonds or something under your land. The mineral rights, if they ain't included, you don't get no cut of that. They own the mineral rights. So they can't, they, it was by coming out our mineral rights. These dirty moors wanted our mineral rights so they can make some money, man. It's all about money, greed. It was all about greed for the dirty moors. Well, how can we make some money? We ain't we gonna exterminate these niggas, steal their land, use cultivate their land to get the, the mineral rights, and we're gonna use that to make some more money. When they set up the pimping, the hot the, the the prostitution rings, the moors, it was all about how can we make some more money? Let's get some more of these Caucasian uh, chicks out of these caves. Let's bring them in, clean them up, let's put them in these hollows, and how can we make more money? Pimping, we gotta be worldwide pimping with this international pimping going on. The Moors started international pimping, bro. Dog skin niggas that just, just like done one dress. Just look at the fit, man. Look at the fit. Pimps wear hats with a little button on it. They wear a little, they, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, bro. That's, that's, the, that's the nut shit, bro. 
That's really in a nutshell. So for the last 10 minutes, we're going to take questions, man. You got any questions for the young girl on this? Drop it in the chat, man. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. If you don't receive a notification from us every day, come back and check with us. We're dropping somebody every day. But dry, all right, we got 150 people in here. Everybody hit that like, man. And keep in mind, we got the brother Rod Hayes tape coming out tonight. Uh, Rod Hayes tonight at 9.30 Eastern time, 8.30 Central time. Oh, okay, Island boys. Yeah, boy, yo. <laughs> Hey, you got any questions? Drop it in the chat, man. How what we talking about? Got about 10 minutes. Take about a couple questions. Yeah. Damn right, they coming for any little ass. And Lil is getting ready to get, get served, my nigga. He got to he got to go to court now for breaking galactical law. He about to get served, my nigga. That's not me too. So she says, and hey, we say we're talking about the Tainos. Um, what you're talking about is it's like um, maybe. Three different types. Okay. So one type, the, the original type of Tainos come from the Seminole Wars of the uh, of the uh different tribes coming to mix up to fight, like Rod said in Florida, right? And then some of those people, my some of those people they look like Deion Sanders, uh uh with the uh, Muskokis Indians and the uh the Geechees that mixed in during the Seminole Wars. They migrated to what you call in Puerto Rico, right? And then, so the originals looked like dark skinned Seminole Indians of the, of Puerto Rico. But then you have the conquistadors. But this is a little later during the time of Hernando Cortez and the Spaniards when they were when they had already took uh, got when Spain had got took over. This is after 1492. It's after 1492, because during 1492, uh, that was dark skin moves. But then after 1492, a little bit after that, that these uh, mulattoes and Caucasians began to take over Spain. And so like, by like the 1500s or 1600s, some of those, they were doing uh, these missions. Then they, they, they end up going, these uh, Spaniards who were lights, uh, mulattoes and Caucasians, end up going to Puerto Rico and massacring people and raping the women and children and having kids with them. So that's how you get the fat Joe types. They really were Italians. Uh, they Italian Spaniards. So that's how you get the fat Joe types. And uh, DJ Cali, he, uh, he really like, uh, DJ Cali is more of a, uh, he, he's not really a Taino, DJ Cali. He more of a, but he, he can pass for the same, they really like this, Similar to the same mix, uh, similar. DJ Cali is more of a, a red Arab. He more of a red Arab, red yellow Arab. Uh, him and um, <coughs> um, French Montana, French Montana. They not the Tainos, uh, but uh, but Carly B. She maybe she like mixed with Taino and. Um, uh, and another a, more, a little bit more dip of the black back in there. But uh hold on, oh yeah, I forgot. While I'm thinking about it, I gotta send my wife. Okay. Let me send her this real quick. Yeah, so man, we uh we just bringing it to you. Hold up, let me uh do this. Like I say, you want to tune in for that Rod Hayes class tonight, man. It's going to be lit. Yeah, so, okay, all right, yeah. So, the Fat fat Joe and Cardi B is, like, more like Taino, right? Uh, let me think who else would be close. Like, J-Lo would be more like a Taino. J-Lo, too. Jennifer Lopez, she more like a Taino. 
to they us, they us, but they mixed with uh, Spaniard due to their ancestors. Same thing happened down in um, in Mexico when Hernando uh, David Cortez invaded and took over because they thought he was uh, the return of Abu Bakr. But these people that, that that tricked us, man, they look like us, but they ain't us. This is some uh, what they try, what the Pocahontas tribe look like. This is a lady from the Pocahontas tribe. Okay, they were dark skinned people mixed with Hindu. They had hint that the spray had come from the Hindu mix to the Hindus. The Hindu, this what they were really wash it, uh, what you call washita. All right, washita is the all max mixed with the Hindus, and then you can see the Chinese influence too. That's how the Mexican look come about. So like he looked like a little Mexican boy, and the original Mexicans look like this dude, dark skin, look like this little boy right here. But this Pocahontas tribe, as you can see, the gray hair come from not from mixing with black. It come from mixing with, I mean, not from mixing with uh, white. It come from mixing with the Hindus. We're gonna break that down. We walk across the land on this side. About the events, peace, love. Hey, we got about five minutes, man. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button. We want to show your brother some love. Hook us up on the cash app, man. Show us some love. We're going to be back tonight with the Raw Hayes tape, though. So, hey, you make sure you get up in here, man. We got we, we, we got to run of the hour. So, in close, my closing remarks, in my closing remarks to this tape, here go another chick that could be from that same tribe. That's how they look. They got these fame features. See the jaw line? Keep that, that jaw line, the lips. All that's from that same tribe. And like I said, it's a mirror tribe to this, to these, this uh Pocahontas tribe in Africa called the Ashanti. Yeah, yeah. Look at how they, I'm showing you all these pictures right now. Look at this. Don't she she looks just like Pocahontas? Right here, this girl right here. I saw an image of her in my mind. I've been having these vivid dreams, man. I saw an image of her in my mind. She looked just like this girl, just like Nicki Minaj. All of them, they look all just alike from that same tribe. And them, the John Ross saw her and he was like, man, this is a bad piece right here. That's how pimps talk. It's a bad mamma jamma right here. This a bad piece. So what he do? He, he, he put his Romeo game down on him. And he takes some white boy, put his rump, put came over here with a whole bunch of masculine Nick Nubians who are Native Americans, like built like LeBron, superstar niggas. And some nigga that ain't similar to them come over and uh, some white, little scrawny white boy come over and Mac, the baddest chick on the land. Man, you got to get out of your damn mind. I ain't the white boys ain't got that much game. We got a couple, but they really, the, the ones that do got them, like white folks and all them, they they really albinos. You think some scrawny white boy came over here and Mac, the baddest chick on our land. Man, get the hell out of here, bro. Get the hell out of here, bro. They had to be a real, you had to be a real smooth player, man. They ain't that smooth. Yeah, they rhythm off. They don't got no game. They rhythm is off. They how they gonna you ain't that they ain't that smooth. <coughs> they ain't that smooth to Mac uh, uh, the baddest chick on the land over here, man. You got to be crazy. So it had to be a dog skin nigga that looked like us coming over here to Mac that Mac the chicks on the land, bro. Had to be a dog skin nigga, man. A, a dirty moor. Can keep the doors. Which is why we brought this thumbnail up. Now we brought this thumbnail up. So now when you tell your kids the story of Pocahontas, tell them the real deal about Pocahontas. The plot to steal our land and jack us. All started with down. Uh, this is a this is a trigger down effect, domino effect of the uh the, this part of it is the domino effect from the Spanish Inquisition. For these niggas that look like us, but ain't us. Just like in the movie Avatar. Nigga look like us, but he a white boy inside. He a, he a free white person. Yeah, got him. Yeah, he yeah, he a free white. He a free white man. That's what he say on his paperwork. But he looked like this. That's the, the whole ideology of this shit.
they say free white man on his documents when he come over here, but he looked like this. And then that's the same thing as that other dude in the avatar. He looked like a dude, but he say free white man on it. It's a white man really in the avatar. And his brain, his mindset is white supremacy. John Roth looked like us, but his mindset was white supremacy. Just like the other dude who came on Avatar, his mindset was white supremacy, let's take over these niggas' land. But I'm looking like them to trick them. Yeah, free, yeah, free white man in law. He a free white man in law. See? But he looked like this. He looked like us. That's the wolf in sheep clothing. That's the uh the uh you know they look like us but they ain't us type of shit so get that in your head monta oka see we got it right here on a uh, see monta oka monta oka right here see we got it right here that's the name of her tribe and it's her name they took her to Graceland, England, through over board. This is land area mass they was in. And these are the people that came over here to do us. And this was the hit man right here. They look like us, but they ain't us. And like I was telling everybody that this came in, the same storyline is played over and over again. And it's played over right here in this movie where he looked like them, but he ain't them. Ain't hey, come this poker hunters. He looked like them, but he ain't him. He ain't them, bro. He a damn nigga driving an avatar. He a white man with a white. Uh, he got his his inside. He's white supremacy, but he looked like us. That's how he tricked us. Inside, he's a white supremacist. He's a free white man in the inside. He's a free white man. It looked like us, but ain't us. There you go. There we have it. So uh, we hope you got the picture, man. We've been in here an hour. We're going to get up out of here now, man. I'm uh, about to get up out of here, man. So share it, lock it on your page. Right? Here's another one from that same tribe. This is how they look. Now she could have a little bit of the aging, added, but uh, but this how they look though—the same lips, cheeks. They look they pretty like this. Uh, all of the pretty girls. Like this this my wife pretty like this. So like like I'm a sucker for a pretty face. That's just how that's just my thing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let me do me. You do you though. I'm a sucker for a pretty face. So I like my favorite women come from this tribe and the Ashanti tribe and and the Afar tribe. Those three tribes they got the prettiest women. Uh, Shanti of fall because when they when they mix with the Hindu, that's what the Hindus uh, women are pretty too. The Hindu women are pretty, some of them. So that's that's the mix. That, that's, that's that's what gave that mix with the, the, the certain type of hair texture and everything. But we're we gonna get into that when we walk you across the land. Yeah, it's uh, their car is uh, I think I said it on that thing. I think it was Muskoki. Muskoki Blackfoot. Muskoki Blackfoot Creek, it's all the same tribe. It's, it's different names for that same tribe. But like one of the names that they use, like the original names is Muskoki. For car. They look like your daughter, right, our hotel? Yeah, you got to watch her then, the hotel. It's a poker. Everybody looking for those poker hunters, uh, tribe girls, tribal girls. So it passed. It's a genetics that's passed on to all of the uh, all of the poker, all of the uh, that tribe. Most of them got pretty faces. The the uh, the ones that's uh, it says what is Macombs? Macombs is Moors, 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 Mick. Anytime you see the name Mac, it's all Moors from uh, Ireland and that area. And that actually, and that those people actually goes back to. The uh the people who got kicked out of or uh, migrated to from uh West East Africa. The, the like the Twa, the Pits. I gotta go get a book called The Black Kilts. I got a book called The Black Kilts. It breaks that down. 
Hey, it's, it's, hey, look at your foot. Look at your foot and how they design. It's a tape. Hey, go back and get the human genetical tapes that we put out, part one, part two. I think it's part three, too. Get the human genetical tapes and watch that tape. It'll help you out. Yeah, Kyle Pocahontas, right? Because that's they that's the, uh, that's that's uh that's telling you the universe was telling you that the universe was telling you why they why they call her Pocahontas because they know because the universe was let telling us the whole time it's the ancestors that's hiding behind the scenes that's telling us through a lot of ways they tell us our, our secret uh through a lot of ways like Mark, like the brother Twelve Elder said that people used to always call me he's telling from he was from Alabama they used to say man you a Muskogee from Oki you a Muskogee from Oki. They said, just call them it all the time, but he never did put it together. They, hey, there, and the Muskogee Indians uh, was the, some of their land is in Alabama. He never put it together. So the ancestors remind you of what we look like. That's why they kept on calling your daughter Pocahontas. She, they remind you of what she looked like. Right? These women, they got that pretty, real, pretty look. But don't, hey, some of them dangerous, though. You better, better watch them. Some of them dangerous. Right here, like this one I'm right here. I showed you, I think I showed you that one. All right, so we're about to get up out of here, bro. We appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? For tuning in. It says, uh, it says, how do you how do you how do you spell it? Uh uh, how do you spell uh what? How do you spell uh Pocahontas name, Monta Oka? I had it on the screen. I got it on the screen. It's um uh, M. Hold on, I'm gonna spell it for you. M A T O A K A. Mata Oka. So yeah, man. Peace and love. We got this thing, man. Islam Hotel. Divine love, I should, throughout the balance universe to all.